Hi guys, welcome back to Lauren Rich, helping veterans get unfucked every single day. So today I thought we would cover the Stuart Scheller issues. Um, really having no, um, no pull, no dog in the fight either direction, I thought maybe we could objectively talk about the issues that come with his statements and speaking out against the Marine Corps, and, and really not even the Marine Corps, but the military leadership as a whole. So many of you, I have read multiple comments saying that this is a blatant violation, it's insubordination, um, and that he should be charged with the UCMJ. What did he expect? And I, I agree with that. I understand that approach and where we're coming from. I don't think he expected anything less. I think he went into it with eyes wide open, fully prepared to be charged with insubordination and, and whatever other charges may be applicable. Um, on the flip side, I think he is one of those people who could not live with himself uh, if he did not speak out against what he felt was wrong. And I have personally been there. I know that many of you have probably personally been there as well. Um, and as a government employee, I felt like at almost seven years of being there that I risked being institutionalized if I stayed. And that was the only reason that I left. Uh, but at a certain point in everyone's career, I think we come to a T in the road. And either you continue to toe the line and go, go with the flow, status quo, uh, or you speak out and you express what you believe to be a righteous and forthright reasoning for arguing with leadership. Uh, when you do that in government, though, you become a problem child and eventually you will be pushed out. So I, I completely understand where he's coming from. I think this is something that many people have struggled with and maybe not even realized. Uh, my greatest appreciation for him, though, is that he has continually said, yes, I violated this code and yes, you, you should charge me, which is why he's pleading guilty, uh, which is ultimate accountability. He is doing exactly what he wants from others which is the greatest form of leadership there is. Don't ask your subordinates to do anything that you would not do yourself. Can we really say if it's right or wrong? Um, I personally am still a little bit indifferent. Like I said, I completely understand the negative aspects of it, how he just shouldn't have said anything, and, and we all have those struggles. Um, but on the other side, I can see how if you want to sleep at night, <laughs> that you need to actually speak up and, and say what's going on. I think the other piece that people are forgetting is that when we look at whether or not he's saying it while he's still on contract, um, is, is it martyrdom? Or if he waits until he leaves, are we living in hypocrisy? And so, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Take care. So part of my job is to help you all get unfucked, but if you're curious about how fucked you actually are, you can go online and take the FUBAR assessment at laurenrich.net.